Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, hello! My name is Jennifer, I call myself Frosted Maple here on YouTube, and in this vlog, a friend of mine uh, called me up and she let me know that there was like a uh, haunted trail going on at this place called Barney's Adventureland, so, or Adventure Park, I think I keep calling it land throughout this. But anyways, it's Barney's Adventure Park. I've got the, the flyer leaflet thingy right here. So I'll go through that uh, a little bit more in detail later on in this video. But yeah, so she called me up and said, hey, uh, her husband doesn't want to go to this um, Halloween after dark trail uh, thing at Barney's. Would I like to go? And I was like, yes, absolutely. I love that stuff. So we do haunted house together and things like that. Uh, at least we have done in the past, but of course, um, you know, the past couple of years have been different. So this is the first uh, haunted house, haunted walkthrough thing um, that we've been to in, yeah, three years, two, three years. Yeah, so let me show you a little bit of what we did. Before we get into that, let's talk a little bit about Barney's. Barney's Adventure Park has 30 plus activities, farm animals and live dinosaurs that will keep the whole family entertained for the entire day. It is located five minutes west of the Royal Terrell Museum on the North Dinosaur Trail, just outside of Drumheller, Alberta. For more information, you can go to barneysdrumheller.com. Here we start off with an overview of the map. You would enter the park through Boomtown Entrance. We do the corn maze in this video and you'll see that a little further on. In Boomtown, there are three different food options for folks to uh, go to. We then move into the barnyard entrance area where you can pet live animals and engage in farm activities. Then there is the Jurassic entrance and that's where the spooky trail was. Here is a list of activities. You can pause this video at any point in time and read. Under Boomtown, there are three different food options for you to get your snack on. There's also attractions such as the corn maze, the gem mine, stage area for live events, a pond, rum runners area where you can get yourself a nice drink, and also to the water tower in this zone so you can cool off. There are a number of games in both the Boomtown and Barnyard area. In the Barnyard area, there is one food section for humans, and then the rest are for animals, and you can pet all the animals and just have a good old time. And then there is the Boneyard, where you can dig around in the dirt. Like I said, for more information, you can go to barneysdrumheller.com. So we are going to do the corn maze. This is my friend Elke. She just consented to be on camera. Or actually, if you're German, it's Elke. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we are going to go in and do the corn maze. Which is... Okay, so we're about to go into the corn maze and Elke pointed out the corn is short. So chances are we will not get lost, but <laughs> Elke, can you stand beside uh, some sure, of the corn? Let's sure. see. Uh, yeah. Yeah, definitely not like in the horror movies. Let me just uh, zoom in here. As you can see, Elkie is taller than the corn. So the likelihood of us being killed by children of the corn is slim to none. <laughs> As originally suspected, uh, so far we are good in the corn. Um, yeah. Actually okay, so I am standing next to, to the corn stalks and as you can see, uh, <laughs> it's fine. So. Yeah, <laughs> all is well. We are not lost yet. Uh, our strategy is if for some reason we we do get lost in the corn, uh, we're just gonna walk through the stocks.
Okay, so I read somewhere online that if you keep taking the first right-hand pass that you come to, that'll get you out of the maze. No, it's a lie. Okay, let me show you. So as you can see, this, this, this is a dead end. Now, it does look like people may have um, panicked and ran that way. Either that or um, they were taken by the children of the corn, the first victims. Uh, either way, I'm not going there. Uh, we're just gonna go back the way we came. filming. We made it. There's a sign. So we made it out of the cornfield successfully or corn maze successfully and uh, good to know no psycho children were there. Uh, now I'm not gonna lie we did cheat a little. We did cut through a few paths. After the corn maze uh, it was about um, what was it about seven a little after seven. So we headed on over to the spooky trail. It's a forested path in which they had this whole scenario of um, they were trying to capture dinosaurs in the German Heller Valley, but the dinosaurs had escaped and they were running amok. So there were little jump scares. People would jump out uh, here and there along the path. Nobody was really in your face or, or up too close and personal with you. And it might be because um, the friend that I was with, you know, we're, we're two older ladies walking through through the woods in the dark. Half the time we had to turn on uh, the light on the phone so that we didn't trip. Uh, but they had these animatronic dinosaurs um, that were pretty cool. And uh, like I said, just a few little jump scares. I was unable to film because uh, I'm just using my iPhone to film everything off of and it was just too dark with the trail. And because I had to keep using the flashlight, um, so that way we wouldn't trip, I wasn't able to capture a lot. But what I was able to capture were some of the dinosaurs. So I want to show them to you now. These are not historically accurate dinosaurs. Um, at least the plaques out in front of them uh, were like, I believe made up names because a triceratops or what appeared to be a triceratops was actually listed as a mojitosaurus. So it looks like they were having a little bit of fun with the names for this whole uh, walkthrough scenario. Overall, uh, to walk the entire, entire trail only took about 15 minutes. Let me show you some of the stuff. Come in. Come in, Dr. Lock. Everything's failed. The search and rescue expedition for the dinosaurs in the Drum Island Valley has failed. We've lost all of our vehicles. Our plane is destroyed. I can't even find Dr. Dr. Locke. Dr. Locke. <laughs> That's it for me in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was overall pretty good. Um, I do have to say that uh, I think this was the first year, so, um, and we were just two older ladies walking around in the dark woods. Uh, so I don't think they gave us the full scare <laughs> effect. Um, but I think if you're a larger group, uh, then I think that's where they're concentrating 
um, some of their uh, spook energy to really get a reaction out of the group. And this was their first year. I have a feeling that next year is going to be bigger and better. It was overall fantastic. Uh, really recommend it. Barney's Adventure Park is awesome if you have kids, even if you're an old kid. I mean, everything um, was kind of for all ages. If you want to go down the slides as an adult, go down the slides. Like you want to ride or get on the swings, go on the swings. They even have like adult teeter-totters and things like that. So you know what? Go check it out. If you've got kids, you can set them loose and they can exhaust themselves and burn off all that Halloween sugar candy energy that they have. And uh, yeah, if you're just young at heart, you can head on over there and just uh, have at her. So if any of you are attending any haunted houses or haunted corn mazes, that sort of thing, leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear about it. Otherwise, until next week, uh, you guys take care and I will talk to you again soon. All right. Bye.